Hi everyone, and welcome to Cooking with Mr H. Well, it's another year and another lockdown, and so I thought, what better thing to do than dust off the red shirt and make another episode just for you guys at home. So today we're gonna to make a delicious pudding, which is my coconut and white chocolate pudding. Now, this is not the healthiest dessert out there, so only enjoy in moderation, but for you guys in lockdown, it might be a nice way to, um, to cook something up in those break times that you have and do something really kind and nice for your family so they can enjoy a yummy, delicious dessert. Now, before we get started, there's a couple of things that you need. So, to cook this recipe today, you need a medium-sized pot and a stirring spoon. You need a shaker. Um, you'll need 150 mils of milk, full cream milk. You'll need about 100 grams or half a block of white cooking chocolate. You'll need 600 mils of cream, thickened cream. You'll need 270 mils of coconut cream. Make sure it's cream and not milk. About a quarter of a cup of sugar. A heaped tablespoon of corn flour or cornstarch. And some vanilla bean paste or vanilla essence. All right, so we're gonna get started. There's not too much to do over here at the chopping board. So why don't I take you over to the stove and we'll get started there. All right, we're over here at the stove, and as you can see, I've got my pot set up and all my ingredients here with me, so it's within arm's reach. I don't have to be walking backwards and forwards. Now, before you cook on the stove, always check with mum and dad first, because obviously the stove could be hot, and we need to make sure that you have permission to do that. So, first of all, we're gonna light our stove and just put it down on a low to medium heat. And we're going to add our cream. So remember, 600 mils of thickened cream. We pour it all straight in. As I said before, this is not the healthiest recipe, so every once in a while for this one, certainly not every day or every week. There's our cream, and we add our coconut cream, our 270 mils of coconut cream, we pour that in. Very good, there we go. All right, and then we're just going to stir this very gently just to combine it with our spoon. All right, and then we'll come back in a little bit once this is heated up and go from there. Alrighty, our cream and coconut cream is heating up nicely. And the next thing we're going to add is our sugar. So remember that's a quarter of a cup of sugar. Not too much because, you know, if we went half a cup, it gets really sweet because there's sugar in our white chocolate as well. So I only want a quarter of a cup of sugar. So we pour that in and we'll give that a stir. And we want to stir this until it's completely dissolved and you can't feel those little sugar granules on the bottom of your pot. So really important to use that uh, caster sugar so that it dissolves a little bit quicker. If you, add, if you don't have caster sugar and you've only got plain white sugar, then that is fine. It might just take a little bit longer to dissolve. So just stir that gently until that sugar combines. All right, now that sugar is all mixed in by the feel of it. So the next thing we're going to add is our white chocolate. So remember that's 100 grams or about half a block of white cooking chocolate. So very carefully, we're just going to pour that in Pour it over near the edge so it doesn't all splash back up at you. And that way it's just a little bit cleaner as well. All right, we'll stir that white chocolate. Now you're going to have to keep stirring this so it doesn't stick to the bottom of your pan or your pot, okay? So keep stirring it. It does take a little bit of time for it to melt down and combine with the cream. So just keep stirring gently and keep moving it around and making sure it doesn't stick. Alrighty, now that that white chocolate has fully disappeared and come together completely with our, with our cream and coconut cream, the next thing I'm going to add is our vanilla essence or vanilla bean paste, depending what you've got at home. So we only want about half a teaspoon of that. And that's just gonna help flavor that for us with that coconut cream and that white chocolate. So about half a teaspoon and just very carefully mix it in in that warm, warm cream so it all comes off the teaspoon. Put that aside, put the lid back on that. And then give it a quick stir to combine that. And then we're going to just keep an eye on it for the next few minutes until it almost comes to the boil. We don't want it completely boiling. So we just want it to heat it up slowly and gently. And when it's almost boiling, we're going to come back and do the next step. Alrighty, now I can tell that um, my cream is almost at boiling point because it's just starting to bubble very gently around the edges. So we're very close. There's a little bit of steam coming off it. Not sure if you can see that in the camera there, but um, so it's almost at boiling point. So now what we're going to do is thicken 
this cream up. So it's going to, when, when we thicken it, it will then set in the fridge. And to make it do that, we're going to use our corn flour or corn starch. Now to do that, we need to combine it with our milk to make sure it doesn't have any lumps in it first. So what we're going to do with our shaker is we're going to pour our 150 mils of, of, of milk into our shaker very carefully. All right, we do that. Then on top of the milk, we always pour the liquid in first so that the, you know, the flour or whatever you're pouring in doesn't stick to the bottom of the cup. So put your milk in first and then pour in your corn flour nice and carefully, try not to make a mess. Although if you do, it doesn't matter because making a mess is half the fun. All right, now that's in there. we we'll put this in, it's gonna break it up. We'll put the lid on and very carefully, squeeze the lid on, put the cap on, give it a good shake for a, probably about 10 seconds to make sure that's fully combined. All right, now very slowly, we're going to continue to stir our cream and we're going to add this mixture. Now you might not need all of it, okay? So I'd probably recommend starting with about half of it and then continue to add it from there. And with that being hot and that corn flour, that corn flour will react with that warm liquid, that hot liquid, and it will start to thicken. And you can, I, I can already start to feel the extra resistance of the spoon through the cream there. So as that continues to thicken up, you'll feel that more and more. And then we will know that it's thick enough when it coats the back of the spoon without running off. And I'll show you a little trick to know if, it, if it's ready in a moment. But I'm just feeling that there. And I reckon we can probably add the last bit of our milk and corn flour. Little stir as we pour it in. There we go, that's all done. All right, so we just keep stirring. We want to make sure we stir it so we don't get any bits that, you know, that, I guess that cook more than the other, um, particularly a bit, the bits around the edge of the pot. So make sure you keep moving them around as well. The texture of this dessert should be really smooth and luxurious in your mouth. So we want to make sure that it stays that way for when it cools down and we put it in the fridge later on. Alrighty, now I've been stirring this for about probably three minutes or so and it's pretty much back up to the boil. Um, it's very, very close, it's steaming, and if I stop stirring, it's bubbling at the edges again. Now, you can really feel how thick this has become when you work your spoon through it. Now, the, the trick that, um, that I use to make sure that it's ready is if I pull my spoon out and turn it over and see how it just sticks to the back of the spoon. And you can also then test it another way, run your finger down it, make sure it's not too hot, of course, and it won't it won't cover your line back up that you've made in your spoon. So that's how I can tell that it is ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is take it off the heat and take it over to my chopping board where I'm going to portion it up, ready to put in the fridge. Alrighty, so I've got, I've got my cream over here, ready to go with my white chocolate and coconut cream in it. Okay, and I've just given it another quick stir to make sure that it's all loose and ready to go. So I don't need that spoon for the moment. So I'm gonna get that and put that to the side. Now I've got my jug, and I'm, just to make it easier to pour into my ramekins or my glasses, I'm going to pour it into my jug first, very carefully, because remember this is very hot. So we're going to do that. Pour some into there, let that dribble off. Very good. Don't mind a little bit of mess, do we? All right, now there's a couple of ways you can serve this. You can serve it just straight into a ramekin and put it in the fridge and just eat it on its own. But what I like to do is get some um, seasonal fruit. Um, in summertime, this is awesome with mangoes and a little bit of passion fruit dribbled over it. But seeing as though it's the cooler months of the year, we've got lovely fresh strawberries. So we're gonna do that. So we can throw a few strawberries into the bottom of a ramekin or into the bottom of the glass in this case here like that. Throw a couple in. And what we're going to do is going to pour our mixture straight over the top of that and almost fill it to the top. Okay, and do the same with our ramekins. We pour it in until it's almost full and we'll do the same over here. And we need a refill. And so we'll do that again. And then what I'm going to do now is once I've done this with all of my ramekins, my cups, I'm going to put it in the fridge and leave it there for probably three to four hours until it sets. 
So if you're wanting to do this recipe for dessert, you need to do it during the day around lunchtime, and that way you've got enough time to let it sit in the fridge for those three to four hours. And then we're gonna come back and have a look and see what it looks like then, and show you how to serve it up and enjoy it. All right, and we're back, and as you can see, I've pulled this out of the fridge, it's had time to set, so you leave it for about three to four hours and basically we're gonna finish it off uh, before we end. So um, it's all set and a nice little way you can test and it's a little bit of fun as you can tip it upside down and it doesn't come out. So what we're gonna do to finish it, we put our strawberries on the top. So I grab a little handful and just stick them in the middle. It doesn't really matter how they go in. You can make them really pretty with a pattern or just rustic like I have. Grab some icing sugar and a little sieve and just tap it over the top like that. Just to sprinkle a little bit, just makes it look a little bit fancy. All right. Now I'm just gonna have a little taste because it is so yummy. Have a little spoonful. Mm, that is so smooth and so creamy and so delicious. So there you have it. There's my white chocolate and coconut pudding. Thanks for watching another episode of Cooking with Mr. H. And I hope this lockdown is nice and short and maybe this is something really nice and kind that you can do for your family and cook them a really yummy dessert. Until next time, I'm Mr. H. Thanks for watching.